Hey guys and gals, welcome back to my channel. We've got the Broken Bow Tournament coming up and y'all, it's gonna be pretty insane. I have a feeling there's gonna be more fish caught in this tournament than there has been all year. The fishing is absolutely on fire. So a couple quick things y'all need to know. The lake currently is about three and a half feet high and y'all know what that means. Tons of flooded buck brush, tons of flooded cover. These fish have a thousand places to go. Anytime the water moves up like that, those fish will move right on up with it. What I've been seeing is a lot of fry garters. There's still some pretty big fish shallow. I do know that probably the majority of the real big fish are, are moving offshore, but there's a lot of fish to be caught up shallow and a lot of very good quality fish off shallow, up shallow. So that's what to keep in mind. Now, going into this tournament, y'all, um, it is a big post-spawn deal. I did see one or two fish on beds, but the spawn is kind of wrapped up. Another thing to keep in mind, the water is dropping about a foot a day. A foot a day, that's a ton. So that could, could mess up a shallow bite. The stuff that I found has me pretty confident that my shallow fish are gonna be there. I am fishing stupid shallow, stupid shallow. And guys, it is a fun bite. So I'm gonna take you through the main baits I'm gonna be using for the tournament and why before we get on the water. I think these are gonna hold up for the entire tournament. I think I'm gonna be able to throw just these three key baits all day long. All right, so the bait that I feel like I'm gonna catch 95% of my fish on, I hope. We're gonna reach out the old top water box. And we're gonna throw a Berkeley King Walker to 125 in bone. I don't have hooks on the back too because I'm in the process of changing them out before the tournament starts tomorrow. I'm gonna be throwing that on the seven foot, medium heavy, mod fast, Abu Garcia winch rod. Straight 30 pound braid. Y'all, I've really been liking the winch for these top waters. It's got a nice parabolic blend in it, so it helps keep these fish pinned. And I've been liking it a lot. I can cast it pretty accurately. And like I said, my hookup ratio is pretty dang good. So hopefully that holds true. So I've been working this bait all along the flooded buck brush, but it's not just a bait for that super shallow water. I've also been getting some really big bites fishing it along the bluff walls. And if you look for those cuts, those real steep banks, throwing it along those banks or even right down the middle of those little guts, you can call fish up. The bigger fish sometimes sit right in the middle. I've been getting a lot of big bites like that too. So I think that's gonna be kind of my main bait of choice. And y'all, I've been getting bit on it all day long. Sun out, clouds, wind, no wind, it doesn't matter. So I think it's gonna be a pretty fun tournament tomorrow. Second bait, we're throwing a swim bait. Got some big bites in practice on this swim bait. This is my main lake point, or kind of the, the first main point into these creek mouths, just slow rolling it, um, you know, five, six, seven foot of water or along the steeper banks as well. I'm throwing this on a seven, six medium heavy Fenwick Tecna, and I'm throwing it on straight 20 pound fluorocarbon. That's gonna be key bait number two. If I get a decent limit, that might be the bait I'm hunting for a real big bite. And last, I don't think I'm gonna have to do this at all, but I will be doing some light flipping by a 516's Berkeley Pit Boss around the buck brush. I did catch some fish flipping, but surprisingly enough, I'm catching better quality fish throwing top water around that buck brush than I am actually flipping it. I finally, finally got my hands on the Abu Garcia Xenon series spinning rods. These things are wicked light. They're super sensitive. I'm kind of excited about this series, especially for my northern swing here in about a month or two. But I am going to be throwing a little tungsten finesse jig if for whatever reason I can't make the shallow thing happen. But that's kind of my game plan going into Broken Bow. There's 176, 77 anglers in this looking for that top Hopefully top 15 would be great. We're gonna do our best, but caught a lot of fish. There's a lot of smaller fish. We gotta wade through them. I'm gonna stick with my game plan. There's gonna be a lot of people in the area, but I don't think a lot of people are gonna be throwing top water all day long. So I'm gonna get my hook switched out, maybe put some new line on, and we're ready for tournament day, y'all. All right, guys, good morning. It is uh, day one of the Hobie Bass Open on Broken Bow. As y'all heard a little bit earlier, I had a pretty good practice fishing exactly how I like to fish. Uh, threw in basically three baits, a big swim bait, big walking bait, buzz bait, 
and a little bit of flipping, four baits. Um, and did that all day long. So pretty excited. There's a lot of fish here. Getting the bigger fish is kind of the, is everybody's big thing, but I feel like I'm in an area that's got some good quality. So we're gonna start off, I'm fishing several little main lake cuts, um, specifically the cuts that have more kind of level out at the back. I don't, I'm not really fishing those steeper banks until a little bit later in the day, but fishing a lot of flats with some flooded cover. Like I said, the lake right now, it's been dropping a foot a day, but it's still about a foot or two high, I believe. Um, and I made sure I found water that would still accommodate the dropping water levels. So tournament starts here in about 10 minutes. Going to uh, just kind of hang out. There's nobody starting here, which is shocking to me. There was 40 people at my ramp, so it's kind of exciting. But we're going to see what we can do, guys. Try to catch them up. Okay, guys, I got like a minute before first cast. So I was sitting out here off this point. I'm going to throw a top water on this point, but I grabbed a bunch of fish. I don't know how big they are. I'm sitting still. I'm going to tie on a little micro jig real quick, and I might, I might make one cast. With this little micro jig. There's a bunch of grass down there. Okay, bored of that. We gotta go to top water. That's that's what we came for. Go. Oh. All right, wacky rig. Where you at? Dang it, that looked like a better fish, you guys. Let's try this little popper. Barely hooked, so we on. Don't do that. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh, that was barely hooked. Fish came up and tried to eat it twice, finally got it. That's a good one. All right guys, that's an 18 incher. It's a great first fish. That was on the Berkeley Cane Walker. I finally got one of those bites to stick. So this is a stretch, I marked a ton of uh, brim beds with a bunch of brim on them. So, I'm gonna throw a big swing bait here. Just heard something splash over here, gonna go check it out. Just fished over there, but might've missed something. Goodness, you guys, this is not my day. What the 
crap is that? Oh god, it's two of them! Oh no, that's the bigger one! Oh, I just... Oh, I had two fish on. Lost the bigger one. Dang it. Oh. Take that one, though. Dang. Two fish on that cane walker and lost the bigger one. 16 and a half. The other one's probably like an 18. I don't know if that was the same fish, but it's kind of cool. might be the biggest mess of a tournament for me that I've ever had. Holy cow. Another good fish right there. GoPro stop recording. Oh my goodness, you guys. What the deal is. That's a little one. Dang it. That's not my big one. God, I wonder if it's on a bed. It's that same spot. Oh, it's not her. There must be a freaking bunch of fish in there. Because that's not her. Two back 16 and a quarter. So that's that was on my new uh, Abu Garcia Venon rod. I was so stoked to get my hands on these, you guys. They are so lightweight and ultra sensitive. So I'm fishing this finesse jig on this. This is a medium heavy right here, so I like fishing a little finesse jig on a medium heavy spinning. Oh, oh I just had one. Shoot. Anyway, that was a terrible delayed hook set. <laughs> um, yeah, I like fishing that, fishing this little jig on this rod. It's super sensitive.
guys. Just realized I lost my net. I'm guessing it was back there in the trees. So gotta go find it now. Ooh. That's a dang good feeling right there. Love my net. <laughs> Holy crap, I just fight fish that fish. <laughs> I literally just saw that fish and freaking sight fish it. That was nuts. It's three feet in front of my kayak and I'm in like six inches of water. Crazy fish. It's a good one though, guys. Go press. That is a 17 and a quarter. Literally sight fish that fish. Thank you, fish. <laughs> that one. That was on a little finesse frog, too. That's kind of cool. Wow, what a way to end. <laughs> Wrap around a tree, have a big fish blow up on it. Have to cut my line off so I can legally continue to fish. Damn, that's a good one. You guys, I think this was probably the worst my worst tournament in years as far as just having everything together, making a good cast, being having my mechanics down. I was a mess today. Lost a lot of big fish, had the bites for easy over 90, and just could not, I mean could, could not figure out what I needed to do. Lost my net, snagged up in the trees a thousand times. Just like that last, that was a probably 18 inch right there that blew up on that. Goodness. I mean, y'all, that, that was, that was an absolute, just, I don't even know what that was. Y'all, that was, that was pretty dang, uh, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get my bait out of the tree. What's crazy is despite all of that, I got 85 inches, which is pretty solid. Um, that should have me in the top 20, I hope, goodness. Um, hope. So, I mean, <laughs> despite all the bad things that happened, um, Goodness, it's, it's so hot. Despite all the bad, we're still, we should be still in contention. That's a pretty good limit. Now there's a lot of small fish on this lake, so hoping that that has me sitting pretty good. We're gonna find out here in a minute. Um, but I'm gonna, I got a long trek back to the ramp. So I better, I better start, better start getting after it. I'll let you guys know how I did. Okay guys, sitting in 21st. It is, there's just a couple of inches separating 
like 35th and first that's crazy close i really needed to land a couple of those big fish that was pretty aggravating i don't know what my deal was today maybe it's just the fact that it's above 80 degrees and i'm this north wing north wing is not necessarily built for that but we're gonna go out there and do better tomorrow there's plenty of fish i'm gonna change the hooks out on my baits and stick them tomorrow we're gonna fish a lot cleaner gonna fish a lot better so uh need to get need to get a top 20 top 17 or top 18 get paid so gotta have a better day tomorrow guys stay tuned